Hello, in this video, I'll be reviewing the Boston Acoustics CR6. The CR6 has a frequency response of 65 to 20,000 Hertz. Recommended power is 15 to 100 Watts per channel with an 8 ohms impedance. Sensitivity is rated at 88 Hertz, or I'm sorry, sensitivity is rated at 88 dB. It has a five and a quarter inch woofer, a three fourths inch dome tweeter, and they weigh about seven and a half pounds each. It's 10 inches, uh, 10 and seven eighths inches high by five and seven eight inches wide by seven and seven eighths inches deep. These were listed on Craigslist uh, for $100 with a receiver and speaker stand. And I reached out to the seller and I said, you know, I don't need the receiver. I just want the speaker and the stands. How much would that be? And um, he said 40 bucks. So I said, okay. And here they are, the Boston Acoustics. I uh, actually later on, Got the exact same pair of speakers uh, through another listing. The gentleman was selling um, the CR6s with a receiver also uh, for 20 bucks. And when I got there, he asked me if I would help him move some furniture uh, since he was in the process of moving out. And after I helped him move it up, he gave me both the speakers and the receiver for free. So, uh, Quick 20 bucks just for carrying two twin beds uh, out the door and down the hallway. So let's uh, see what we have here. These have, they're pretty heavy for their size, uh, very sturdy. It has a metal grill with the logo on the bottom here. And you can kind of see the woofer and the tweeter through there. In the back you have a very dusty uh, base port and five-way binding post with the plastic red and black. The sticker, which is kind of lifting up a little, it has a um, screw mount on the back and it has little holes uh, uh, it has little like nubs I guess hold it off against the wall a little bit maybe to let the air escape and then it has four screw mounts probably for uh, speaker mounts or something very dusty it's gonna require some dusting to clean off let's open it up and look at the speakers So the grill is this metal mesh. Uh, you could probably barbecue on this if you really had to, or use it as some kind of a strainer. And it's just held in by friction. I can see it maybe vibrating and causing some distortion. And there's the very dusty tweeter. The three-fourth inch tweeter has some kind of a guide and a protector there. And then the woofer, very dusty. And the owners had little plastic pieces on the bottom, probably for a vibration. Let's look at the other one. Pretty clean grills. Oh, but very dusty woofers. Let's see if you can see all that dust on that woofer. Base port, a lot of dust on there. So let's give it a light dusting and uh, we'll hook them up and hear them out. Ooh, 
Ich weiß nicht, wie das All right, there they are, Boston Acoustics CR6 bookshelf speakers. Let's go hear them up.
Initially, I had the Boston Acoustics CR6 playing so nice by Jim Tomlinson in this clip. But because of YouTube uh, music policies, I had to mute it. But this is a very good speaker for playing female vocals. Because of its size, it does not have good uh, low bass extension. But it would do well with a subwoofer. Nothing about these Boston Acoustic speakers stand out to me. They're just a very uh, good to average speaker, uh, bookshelf speaker that is. The vocals are good, of course, like I was mentioning with female vocals. Uh, has good reproduction of strings, but uh, again, the bass is lacking a little bit on these speakers. Uh, but is expected for its size. I would highly recommend these speakers if you can find them for under 50 bucks in your area. Uh, maybe even cheaper. Uh, like I said, I received that second pair of these uh, for free by just helping someone move. So uh, keep an eye out. Um, they're not too bad. So this is my review of the Boston Acoustics CR6 speakers. There's also some 8s, I think 7s in the line, so maybe if I find those, I'll review those in the future. Alright, thank you and have a great day.